In a lot of my work, I try to delegate creative decisions to algorithms. I try to make systems where I don't necessarily know what the end result will be. Music has very much uh, always been a very tactile discipline where you need your mouth, you need your fingers to create and make music. One of the things that attracted me to Andreas's work was accessibility really seems to be centered in a lot of his tools and how they are used. Uh, for example, he created a sound installation in Lewis, Sounds from the Mouth, that simply tracks your mouth to create a cascading series of notes that make music. And even though it's a simple, quirky tool, there are a lot of implications and ways that we could further that tool to create other products uh, that allow users to make music. So a lot of times people think that machine learning or program is, programming is very tricky, uh, that it's something super complicated. So I try to make these, these techniques kind of approachable. I try to lure people in with, with laughs. And then I also kind of often talk about like the ethics behind these things or the biases that these things uh, contain. So for instance, doodle tunes, you have to draw the instruments in kind of specific ways because it's trained on other people's drawings of instruments. And that can lead some, to some interesting uh, conversations. How do we see the world? How does machines kind of see the world? And what effect does the data that we train these systems on have? the backbone of what all these installations are for and are about are Andreas's work and then my part of the collaboration with him was to add all the musical elements that people are messing around with. Yeah, so I mainly work with machine learning and I think just in the last year we've seen an explosion of kind of using machine learning not only to classify things but also to create things. Andreas designed Doodle Tunes to be able to draw an instrument and the code that he wrote recognizes the instrument so you draw a saxophone as close as you can to the drawings that he trained the program on it will register a saxophone hopefully sometimes I get a squirrel I'm not great at drawing we had people from the Sloan Business School we had people from music theater and arts and they all were together in the workshops as a place to essentially create collaborate get messy create tools that sometimes worked and sometimes didn't work one of the things about libraries in the 21st century is that we want them to be a place where users come to congregate and collaborate and explore together versus where we've traditionally been, which is a quiet space for users to come in, study in a corner, check out books, etc. I guess I want people to leave with the experience that machine learning can be used for playful things and that it can be kind of a uh, creative part in bigger projects. Because this residency is centered on the idea of collaboration and creating tools, one thing that I hope that users came away with was that after this residency ended, as users started to make tools and products using machine learning and artificial intelligence, they would be aware of these biases so that they would create a more equitable tools for other people.